Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack, the Legend, and today I'm with the Minecraft World of Solitude episode. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build a redstone rotating light. I'm doing it in World of Solitude because I have a lighthouse, and because it's really simple and you can do it in survival. I'll get to the tutorial later. The timestamps are in the description down below. But for now, I'm going to be showing you what I've been up to. I'm here standing by two bubble elevators that I said I would create in the last episode. So let's go down them. So I've got my up elevator here and my down elevator here. So let me just go down here and not lose that half heart on the magma. So under here I have created a base. I've gone with a real beachy feel with again the sand floor with surrounded by the stone bricks, some light stone slab walls and dark prismarine bricks. I've got, also got two rooms. This is probably going to be the bedroom where I might have a few chests, my beds. And then over on this room, maybe storage or, furn or furnaces. I've also got the sea pickle lights, where I've used iron bars and water and sea pickles. These guys light up a lot. I've also added some interest on top with uh, stone slabs and different types of coral. I've created some highlights using sea lanterns and again stone bricks, which really light up the room. So, if you come over here, you can see I have a little tunnel which leads directly back to the lighthouse. If I keep walking here, you'll be able to see a glass roof. And sometimes you can see fish float going by. I just once saw a dolphin and a turtle. It was awesome. And sometimes you can see a random I'm a lot one swimming by. <laughs> Doing random loop-de-loop -loop things. Hello! Don't drown, wild one! <laughs> Don't drown! <laughs> <laughs> the conduit power isn't over here. Waiting for me back at my temporary base, there is one of my friends, Dark Knight, another one of the Solitarians. Dark Knight and I are going to build a nether portal room, but first we need to go get some obsidian. Let's go. Oh, this looks like a place I'd get lost at. Yeah, I got lost in it once, and I, and I dug it out down here. Oh, here, here's some lava. Perfect. A little lava patch. So now we've got this. We Oh, there was a piece of lava there. Now that we've got this, we can just start mining it out to make the nether portal. Not including the corners. Oh! Oh! That was so close. I'm just going to have to keep on doing that. So now we've got the obsidian, we need to go to my base, and I brought over some clay, clay, no, concrete, red and white concrete. I have a lot left over from the, uh, the lighthouse, because we went a bit overboard, a bit, actually a lot overboard. And for some reason, these two pigs just hang out by my door. These two pigs have <laughs> always been here, they're like, my roomies. Wait, now there's three of them! <laughs> no, the pigs are taking over! Okay, so I'm at the end of the tunnel and I'm here with Dark Knight Studio and we are going to be building a little nether portal room on this side of my base, so it's symmetrical because I've got a door there, we're going to have a door right here. So I might go around maybe 4x7 long? Let's get stripy. This is going to be like the stripy room of Doom, I've decided to call it. Oh, oh, this is like, so weird. Okay, time to light the portal. Yeah, it does, it looks beautiful and it does light up the room. Okay, let's see, just for this portal. I reckon, I reckon if I put, the tor I'll put torches up here. Oh yeah, let's do the roof checkered. So everything's going to be either checkered or stripy. Oh, I almost went into the nether portal. You don't want to go in there yet. No, not yet. Now we've built another portal room, let's head back to the lighthouse and start the redstone light tutorial. But first, Wild One has done some decorating. On the first floor, 
We haven't started yet. It will probably be a chest room, but let's head up to the second floor. On the second floor, we have a kitchen slash living zone. Wild One has used a very minimalistic style in this kitchen slash living space. She has created a working oven using a furnace and one of the new trapdoors, and on top of that furnace there's a detector rail to make it look like a stove. A really simple way to create cupboards and drawers, which I'm a Wild One has used, is to put markings on signs. The chairs are made using daylight sensors and again, signs of patterns on them. And then on the back, we have a painting. On to the next floor. The third floor is a bedroom. It's a very small room which makes the bedroom very cute and cozy. Now come up to the top with me and we can start the tutorial. I'm inside the top of my lighthouse right now. If you would like to check out how this was built, see my last episode. To start the light, find the center of the area you want to build your light in. I've marked mine with cobble. Now count four blocks out and on the fourth block, create a three by three area of redstone lamps. Do this on the four sides from the center. It should look like this. Now, one block up, create an X out of any block coming out from the redstone lamps. Then remove the center block. On one of the sides, place three redstone repeaters going into the center block of your redstone lamps. Then, put the first repeater on two ticks, one click, the second repeater on three ticks, two clicks, and the third repeater on four ticks, three clicks. Repeat this on each of the four sides. Now place one repeater facing towards each of the 9x9 redstone lamp block around the edges of the middle and put these on four ticks, so three clicks. And this is what you should have so far. To connect these, add redstone dust in every space that is left except for the middle. The next bit you need to do quickly. Place a lever on any side of the center square Activate it, and immediately break it. And you should see each of your lights rotating between the four stacks. To cover up the redstone, fill in the corners with a block of your choice. And there you have it, a silent and lag-free redstone light. It looks really cool and it definitely will stop any shipwrecks. So now that I've finished building the lighthouse, I'm over here on the Birch Island planning for our next build, big build. So make sure to watch out for our next World of Solitude episode. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. It would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later. Peace.